Ice hockey requires four simple elements. Skates, ice, stick, and puck. No other sport is such a joy to play. College athletes playing in the national spotlight take the game to new limits. When championships are at stake, hockey's joy can be forgotten. Welcome back to the Providence Civic Center, everybody. Hundreds of Maine fans made the trip down here to watch Maine play in this NCAA regional final, and they're all leaving now, most of them in stunned silence. This great season is over. 3-2, the final. Michigan State beats Maine. The Spartans will go to Albany and play in the final four. Last time I probably, you know, get a chance to play with some of my best friends. Number one nationally from wire to wire. From an outsider's standpoint, this quarterfinal loss in the NCAA tournament here tonight in Providence will have to be considered a failure. You know, I guess I could accept this a lot easier maybe if we didn't play well. But we played so bloody well, you know, it's like somebody upstairs is, uh, didn't want us to win. Pucks International presents Out of the Woods, the video history of Maine Hockey's championship season. Hello, everybody. I'm Gary Thorne, and the first hockey game I ever broadcast was right here at the Alfond Arena, home of the University of Maine Black Bears. This program has come a long way since 1977. It's doing it under coach Sean Walsh, and this season he's given us the opportunity to take a look at this team from the inside out. We've been in the classroom, we've been on the planes, we've been on the buses, we've been inside the locker room. And we invite you to join us for the next hour as we take a look from the inside out at the nation's number one college hockey team. 92 Olympic goalie Mike Dunham was the cornerstone of the team that lost three of its top four scorers after their NCAA heartbreak. Maine's offense could count heavily on their all-star captain Jim Montgomery and the 5'4 Pepper Pot Jr. Cal Ingraham. Coach Walsh would need production from his prized recruits like the Ferraro twins from Long Island, Peter and Chris. They came to Orono after making a big splash at last June's NHL draft. The Rangers made Pete the only New Yorker ever taken in the first round. They kept the family intact by selecting Chris in the fourth. Hockey gypsies, the twins have spent the last six years moving around the country, developing into world-class snipers. The third freshman star was a 155-pounder named Paul Correa, last year's Canadian Junior Player of the Year, had a reputation that invited stunning comparisons. The defense featured talented juniors Chris Himes and 6'4 strongman Matt Martin. The Black Bears had the luxury of a second all-star goalie in senior Garth Snow. Despite heavy losses, coach Sean Walsh had plenty of material. We're obviously going to be tremendously strong in goal. I mean, we, you could put our two goaltenders up against most pro teams, and, and we wouldn't be taking too much of a back seat. On defense, I think we're going to be very solid, and I think our defense will get better as the season goes on because they're going against our forwards. I see our forwards as being explosive. I think they'll be a little bit con inconsistent early. Korea gained respect from the veterans right away. Admiration from the captain. I would really like to play with them. I don't know if I'll get that chance, but... Uh, I would like to play with him because he's a great player and he could set me up for a lot of goals and in turn I could set him back up for goals and it would be fun because it's exciting to watch a player with anticipation like he has. A four hour drive north of Boston, tiny Orono, Maine waited impatiently for the next hockey season. The town buzzed on opening day. I think they're going to have a great season. I think this year they're going all the way. They lost a lot of stars, didn't they? Yeah, but they got a lot of stars coming in. By far, it's the most popular sport in the state, university or semi-professional level. Elfond Arena is the best home ice advantage this side of the Montreal Forum. 126 consecutive sellouts and a 32-game unbeaten streak. A deadly double for visiting teams. The fans were ready. How about the players? You ready to play some college hockey? Looking forward to it. It's going to be Olympics? exciting. Uh, the two Ferraros. Right. Real yeah. you guys start to uh, figure each other out in practice? Uh, we got to handle each other, you know, the first time we skated together. So uh, you know, we're lo really looking forward to the plans tonight, see what we can do. For the freshmen, this was the countdown to their college careers.
this thing together. Go, okay. White. Come on. Yes, sir, White. Make eye contact, boys. You're in it together. Finish Make up. eye contact. Three, two, one. Live from Alphonse Arena in Orono, Maine, the New England Sports Network in association with the Prime Network presents exclusive coverage of Hockey East. Maine took advantage of the manic atmosphere and blew out 10th ranked Providence with six second period goals. All the super freshmen scored. Moving it over to Ferraro. Little Cal Ingraham displayed the weapon that would haunt Hockey East all season.